Hi guys and welcome to another Windows tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to manage your ESXi server that we just installed in the last two tutorials with the vSphere client. The first thing you'll need to do is open up Internet Explorer and go to the IP address of your vSphere, your um, ESXi server. So if you remember in the last tutorial, the IP address of mine was 192.168.137.200. For you, this will be different because you may have set it to a different IP address. Hit return. On Internet Explorer 8, you'll see this message. Click continue to this web address. This website, not recommended. And click here on download vSphere client. Click save. Choose where you want to save it. Okay, so you get the idea. Once you've downloaded the vSphere client and you've installed it, on Windows 7 you can just do a search for VMware. So click on the vSphere client and you're presented with a login box. IP addresses of your server, so 192.168.137.200 and that's for me, for you, obviously it'll be different. Username is root, password is whatever you set it to. Click login. When you see this window, click in this checkbox. It says install this certificate and do not display any security warnings for your IP address. And click ignore. Okay, this is because we haven't entered a product key for ESXi. Despite the fact that it is free, you do need to still enter a product key, which you can get from VMware. So this is the main page of the vSphere client. You'll see your server here, and you'll see a summary, which is rather slow to update. So it gives you all the information about your server, including manufacturer, the model, CPU cores, processor type, your license, processor sockets, cores per socket, logical processors, hyper-threading, number of NICs, state, virtual machine templates, vMotion, VMware EVC mode, host configured, active tasks, and host profile. On the left here, you'll see resources. On the right here, sorry, you'll see resources. You'll see it tells you how many CPUs you've got and the usage, the memory usage, data stores, which is, this is where we first installed VMware, network and fault tolerance. This is the virtual machine tab where you'll see virtual machines that are installed on the server. Resource allocation, performance, configuration, and also here is license features, and you can edit that there by assigning a product key. And then you've got local users and groups, events, and permissions. And up here you've got plugins, administration, inventory, 
where you can do things like create a new virtual machine, a new resource pool, enter maintenance mode, shut down and reboot the server, report summary, report performance, got the view tab here, edit and file where you can do new, export, report, browse the virtual appliance marketplace and exit. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next one we'll look at how to create a new virtual machine. But before you can do that you'll need to go out and get a VMware ESXi key from VMware.com. So that's it for this tutorial and look out for more coming soon.